Hey guys, so let's get this ball situation right. So first of all, this is gonna be like a get ready with me, but a really fast one because I gotta go. So this is gonna be basically how I get ready in like 15, 20 minutes every day. Um, and this is like kind of the makeup look that I've been doing since I got my Fenty Beauty stuff and it's changed my life. Um, but first, I wet my wig. This is my curly unit, my Victoria Loose Curly. If you guys haven't checked out the original video that I did talking about this wig and the wig with the bangs, um, you can check that out, that is on my channel. So all I did was literally, I put this wig under the faucet in the bathroom, in the, in the bathtub. <laughs> I put it on the faucet and wet the entire wig. And so now I'm going to, this is my everyday maintenance y'all, really quick. I'm gonna take this Briogeo Rascaro Milk um, Leave-In Conditioner Spray and I'm just gonna spray the wig, saturate it with the leave-in conditioner, give it some shine and some moisture. You really don't need to do this because the hair is really soft on its own, but I would like to do this anyway. Yeah, I'm just gonna brush through it with my Tangle Teaser that you can get from Sally's. And I'm just gonna brush through it just to like get the curls to kind of like go together, form together. You can define the curls or when it dries, you can pick the curls apart and make it look really, really fluffy and big. Totally up to you. It's been really hot, like 90 degrees lately. So that's why I've been able to just walk around with like wet hair. Gives me a wild thoughts kind of, kind of look. I'm just gonna put the wig on. My elastic band is coming off. I need to re-sew it. Child, we're struggling, but it's okay. Just gonna put the wig on and line it up with my part. I haven't been using the got to be glue in a while because I feel like, I don't know. I just don't like laying my whole entire wig like that. Um, so I'm just gonna take some lash glue. And this is the clear House of Lashes lash glue. You can get it from Sephora. I have links to everything in the description box. You already know how this works. And it does dry completely clear. And I like that clump together look because it dry dries really cute. Of course, like I said, you can, you can just finger comb through it when it's done if you don't like the clump together look and you want it to be more fluffy. But I like both looks. But lately, since it's been hot, I've been liking the wild thoughts, wet hair look. So now that should be tacky. I'm just gonna brush this down. The one thing I do like about this wig though is that you don't have to wear your hair out um, because the wig is pre-plucked. So if you don't have a very like good hairline, you can totally make a hairline with it and like do the whole what frontal look. But I'm not good at the what frontal, so. Yeah, that's pretty much all that I do to my wig. So now I'm gonna just really quickly do my face because I don't have time to play around. I'm just gonna take the Fenty Beauty um, primer. And it's more like a, to me, the Fenty Beauty primer is really moisturizing. It's like a moisturizer. So I don't have to put a moisturizer on with it. My favorite powder, I have a ton of powders like this, um, but this is my favorite one. This is the Laura Mercier Medium Deep Powder. It's a nice warm brown. I'm gonna take the Velour Puff from Laura Mercier, and I'm just gonna take whatever is in the cap first and press that into my skin. And this is just gonna give me like an even base for my foundation to blend into. Which color? Okay, so here's, this has been the issue for like the past couple days, <laughs> trying to figure out what color I am. Uh, so I have 410, 410 and 390 in the Fenty foundation. I think I'm gonna do 390 because 410, 410 is just, it's too dark, okay? 390 is not that bad, but it's still too orange. So I have to mix it. But basically I'm just gonna take one pump of the, 390 and I'm gonna put some of my NYX Total Control Drops in Caramel into that. So as you can see, the color is not, mm, it's still orange. <laughs> I really wish this undertone was a little bit less on the warm side because this is like the perfect shade, but it's just not the right undertone. And I hate that I have to mix it because I hate having to mix stuff. But at the same time, that's how you get your perfect shade. Sometimes you just gotta mix. I'm gonna take caramel. I 
I'm gonna use my NARS Creamy Radiant just to add a little bit, a little bit more coverage under the eyes. Going back with the blush, blend that out. I love these sticks because they blend so easy. It's just like, yes, boo. Like, we're blending. I'm gonna take truffle and contour with it and rub that onto the product. I got this technique from Alyssa Ashley. And I'm just gonna blend it. I'm gonna take some powder, set my under eyes so they don't crease. Put a finished powder just to set my whole face with it. I'm gonna use. rum to highlight and just highlight where I would normally highlight. So I'm actually going to add a little bit of Taraji glow to this because I need a little yump and put it right back here. brows needs precisely my brow pencil because this brow pencil is like less harsh I guess looks more natural and I'm going for a natural look okay. brow gel or brow set brow set by Mac just to set it I'm gonna put gloss on my eyelids <laughs> because I've been loving the gloss on my eyelids look, the glossy look. So I'm gonna use the MAC, this is the MAC by, the MAC Viva Glam Taraji lip gloss. And I'm gonna just put that on my eyelids. And I like this one because it has a little sparkle in it, but you can totally use whatever gloss you like. And I don't really see a lot of creasing and like settling into lines with this gloss. I don't know if other glosses will do that if you do do the glossy look. Um, but I don't experience that. Now if you want to look real editorial, you can just leave it like this. So I'm going to put a layer of mascara on. This is the Origins of right name mascara. Okay. I think that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this really quick get ready with me. See you later guys.